Okay, so it's been about a month with Google's latest, more budget-friendly device, the Pixel 6a, and dude, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really good so far. In my personal opinion, I think this phone is a triumph in multiple different ways, and no doubt it is gonna be a strong contender for best phone under 500 bucks this year. Now, that's not to say that it's perfect, and there are a lot of folks out there that are pretty critical about this device, which I think is fair, but one month later, I find I'm more inclined to recommend the Pixel 6a more than I would the other way around. So today, I wanna go over three specific reasons why you should should buy the Google Pixel 6a, so hit that like button and let's just jump right into it. Okay, the first reason why you should buy the Pixel 6a is probably the one that's most noticeable and that's the updated design and form factor. The Pixel 6a adopts a much needed design overhaul that the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro debuted and to say it's a welcomed addition is an understatement to say the least. I mean, do you all even remember what the older Pixel 8 devices looked like? It was pretty clear that Google at the time didn't really care about the aesthetics and really focused on a utility for design. And look, there's nothing wrong with that and in a way it has its own sort of appeal, but this to me is by far the best looking and best put together Pixel 8 phone the company has ever put forward. The dimensions makes this the smallest Pixel 6 in the lineup but it's to me the most right size fit as it makes the phone really comfortable to use and operate while still providing users with a pretty generous 6.1 inch display. The display is also a quality one here that not only puts out a full HD plus resolution, it has that edge to edge design that makes viewing content really immersive. The Pixel 6a now has that signature Pixel look with this ledge camera housing, which I think looks great. The back panel is made out of plastic, which I know is a turnoff for a lot of people, but it's a really high quality polycarbonate here, so much so that I think if people told you it was glass, you'd kind of believe them right away. I think the component here that really brings it together is the metal frame. Google used this recycled aluminum as the build material, which is not only great for the environment, but also feels really good in the hand. This might sound weird, but it actually feels like metal. There's no weird coating on it that takes away from the material's natural texture and feel, which Google has been guilty of in the past, and it elevates this Pixel 8 device to a higher level of quality. The phone also boasts an IP67 dust and water resistance rating, and at the end of the day, when it comes to overall design, this is such a drastic improvement in every way. Now, before we get into the second reason on why you should buy the Pixel 6a, I want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, NordPass. NordPass is an industry-leading password manager that provides the best solutions to the ongoing problems associated with passwords today. Number one, NordPass can store all your passwords in one place and use their autofill feature when logging into your account, so you not only sign in a lot faster, you don't have to try and remember the 78 or so passwords you have out there, which, let's face it, you never do. Plus, you can use NordPass's secure password generator to come up with complex passwords for each of your accounts. And because it's all stored in the same place and safe for you, you can avoid the extremely dangerous practice of using the same password over and over again for multiple accounts, which really is a hacker's dream come true. NordPass also has a data breach scanner that checks to see if any of your online accounts or personal information has been leaked or compromised. And most importantly, NordPass is a zero knowledge based password manager, which means that no one else, including the NordPass team, can see what's inside your encrypted vault. You can sync your passwords on up to six devices, and NordPass is really one of the most simple, easy to use cybersecurity tools available that provides critical value to all of its users. If you guys are interested in checking out NordPass, get exclusive access to NordPass's best offer by using the link in the description below, or use code JSL at checkout, and you'll get an additional four months free when you sign up for a two year plan. Give yourself the security and peace of mind that you deserve. Check out NordPass today. Now, the second reason why you should buy the Pixel 6a is also kind of a first for the Pixel A lineup, and that's the improved performance and features. Probably the most notable internal change associated with this phone when compared to its predecessors is gonna be the processor. Google unapologetically equipped their budget lineup with third-party processors that could be labeled as mid-tier best, but in a pretty strong 180, the Pixel 6a is powered by the company's new in-house flagship Tensor chip. Though the true test of the processor's power is still being tested, it's no doubt a leap ahead of the chip chips powering the older Pixel A models, and this allows users to take advantage of some of Google's latest features. This includes their new live translation capabilities, which no joke is really impressive. It basically translates and transcribes your live audio into a different language, which no doubt requires a ton of horsepower to do live. You could also take advantage of Google's Magic Eraser, which allows you to remove certain parts of a photo instantly for a more pleasing final image, and it works surprisingly well. 
And with Tensor, you have more than enough power for a snappy Android OS experience. Spec intensive gaming is a walk in the park, and all of this should last you quite some time, even with future software updates. The Pixel 6a also comes equipped with the Titan M2 security chip, which promises users up to five years of security updates, which also helps considerably with longevity of the phone as it's quite future-proofed. And one of the most important but often overlooked areas of performance is battery life. And dude, the Pixel 6a delivers in a big way here. It comes with a 4,410 milliamp hour battery that yes, does not support wireless charging and can only fast charge at 18 watts, which is kind of underwhelming for today's standards. But man, what it lacks in premium features, the Pixel 6a really delivers with solid, reliable all-day battery life. I mean, I push this phone pretty hard with my testing, watching a ton of videos, using Google Maps, and playing games, and I have yet to deplete the battery in one day if I start on a full charge. What's surprising is that I'm getting noticeably better battery performance than what I got in the Pixel 6 Pro. It's likely due to the less power-hungry hardware, particularly the display, which is clocked at 60 hertz, but this all-day battery life is super convenient. Plus, it has a feature called Extreme Battery Saver Mode that I thought would be somewhat of a gimmick, but it actually does an effective job at only turning on the bare essentials to significantly reduce the amount of power the 6a needs. Overall, I feel as though Google has done better at fine-tuning Tensor to be more efficient when it comes to power management with this phone than its more expensive counterparts, and it's a major plus for the Pixel 6a. Okay, the last reason why you should buy the Pixel 6a is not anything new or anything strikingly different like the reasons before it. This continues to be the main reason why most people buy a Pixel, and that of course is the camera quality. The Pixel was the first smartphone to really leapfrog the competition to what it was able to provide users when it came to high quality images from their mobile device. And though a lot of that competition has caught up, it's still a force to be reckoned with, especially when you get this level of picture quality on a phone that's less than 500 bucks. The Pixel 6a still delivers that signature Pixel look with those punchy saturated colors and extra dash of contrast, all without it coming off too artificial. Now, it should be noted that the camera hardware on the 6a is not the latest and greatest that Google has used. It's using an older system that, albeit does have some proven results, and I think it clearly shows. Plus, the 6a comes with two cameras on the rear with the addition of the ultra-wide that also performs really well. Selfies come out great, and low-light images come out strong too with access to Google's night sight. And I think the level of quality with the images coming out of this phone is one of the best out there regardless of price range, which is quite a statement. Whereas most budget phones sacrifice in this area, it's reassuring to know that the Pixel 6a will still allow users to get some of the best pictures you can get out of any mobile device and is no doubt a major reason why this phone should be on your radar. So there you have it. Those are the three reasons why you should buy the Google Pixel 6a. It's been an absolute joy for me to use one month later, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think Google hit a home run here or do you think it's a swing and a miss? Curious to get your thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, that's about it for this review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys found it useful. Again, I really appreciate it. Check out these other reviews if you're looking for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.